Hey everybody. So this is going to be part four in the series "Things I Learned from the Pro." You all know I got some uh, uh, lessons from my students. Very nice birthday present. And this is the fourth board position I showed the pro. And let's have a look. Um, this is a specialty move that some of you don't know about, so let's take a look. Let's say Black plays this Joseki, which allows uh, him to go one further space to J3. Well, now White has the opportunity to play this move, which becomes Sente, not literally Sente, but Black generally answers. So White got a good move in for free. So a lot of times Black will play here and see what White's going to do. If white plays the long, then black will switch up back to this Joseki, and now white's not too close. So it's an old thing that came about in the 70s or 80s. Okay. I'm approached. I defend my corner. And I come in. A lot of... Uh, Strong players will back off one here <clears throat> because there's a lot of black stones ready for this fight. So if you come close, the fear is that black's going to get too much. But Mr. Yang plays close. Uh, he says, I've beat many top pros with this move. So uh, since he believes in it and I believe in him, I play it to honor him and to learn the idea. Okay. Here, <clears throat> there's three different ideas. And I never know when you play one, when you play the other. So the pro says, oh, just play this way. Look, well, great, but how do you know when you do that versus the others? And his response is that if black has, let's say, a loose pinch, then when you start this fight, the A group has a lot more room to consider its health, a lot more ability to escape, to run, various things. But with the short one, that's not the case. So just play it this way. And then black can do a few things, maybe black fixes and white fixes, uh, or we keep the fight going. Now, the way I'm used to the fight continuing is white does the honey. That's what I'm familiar with. And then white plays away does is starts the corner fight. But black played here. Well, I had assumed this was a mistake, so I tried to punish the mistake. But I'm the one that got punished because it's not a mistake. So I asked the pro about the position, <clears throat> and he says that the A group can just get out. That is to say, it is already out. If black tries to do any surrounding, white gets out comfortably. And same thing here. It's just like, you know, that group's not a problem right now. If for some reason you think it is, then feel free to make that exchange first. But there's no need. Instead, you can go to the corner. So... In going to the corner, which of the three, they're all played, which of the three do you go forward on? He says, well, usually we don't have G in place, so they're all just fine. But fighting in the direction of G can be difficult 
So why don't you just fix the, you know, uh, do it towards the corner rather than towards the side, then it'll be okay or okay-ish. Better when the G's not there. I got out this way, which leaves the a nasty cut. And then I went back this way. He decided to keep the fight going. I get my group out, and I get my group out, and I fix. Okay, I went into the corner starting that fight. But you see that my B group is not quite prepared for this. I should first be getting out. Over or under both seem to work fine. But we'll see this again in a minute. I finish this shape up and finally get out. So I did a couple extra things before I got out. Um, I've got some cuts coming up, so I need to fix one of them. I fix it that way. You don't want to fix it this way because uh, I'll just show an example. It's not the way the stones would play out. But white can't save because, see, it's a shortage of liberties. You're creating a couple false eyes. So I clean that up. Okay. <clears throat> so here's where we start the question. Um, first, what I did is I get out. My thought is that the C group is more surroundable. That is to say, this looks like a surround. While that's not the case on the other group, right? They can still get out easily. Okay. So I'm getting out at C. And I'm wondering, should I be, you know, considering another idea? Should I get my other group out first? He says, no, you know, your C group, that's the one. Um, and then you said something that I hadn't thought of. He says, when you have uh, two gr weak groups like that, run them in different directions. And I'm like, what? Never heard that one before. The thinking is, if I run towards my other weak group, his response hurts my other weak group. If I run away, which this isn't the spot, but if I run away, then I'm not encouraging him to hurt the other weak group. That's kind of the thinking. Now, if I'm going to run my C group out, I wouldn't think of another move other than C because it's the only move where I can jump. That is to say, this move is a small step, while this is a jump. This move is a small step. So I wouldn't think of the small steps. In my mind, you're supposed to run as fast as you can. He's like, no. I mean, yeah, if you can run faster, go right ahead. But you need to run in the correct direction. So, so run this way. And I'm like, wow, that's hard for me to see. I mean, I'm first of all, I'm just catching up with black. I'm not even getting ahead. And it's a real slow step. He says, yeah, but now you're really thick to the outside. And there's no chance of you getting surrounded. And now it's black, the one who's looked like we're chasing him in the center. So I saw what he means. I just never seen it thought of it that I just wouldn't play a slow step I would play the faster step so that's I'm working on changing my mind there I heard him say it 
I see it in action. It's like, okay, the running direction is more important than the speed. That's hard for me, new for me. Okay, I run this way. And now this move kills the corner. Now, this is a bad habit I've developed because of uh, I'm always teaching. Uh, when I teach, when the... Are you recording? Yeah. Sorry. I have to take you out. To the vet? Okay. Good luck, hon. The wife is taking the dog to the vet. The dog's not sick. The vet just won't prescribe their uh, pain pills without a checkup. So we're going for the checkup. Okay. This kills black. And uh, when I teach, I like to punish immediately so the student sees, oh, wow, I made a big mistake. I needed to have my group live, this kind of thing. It shows them right away. But in a real game, you shouldn't even be going for the kill. Even if you can kill rightfully, just play away. Because that means you play away to a big spot, he goes for life, you get another big move. The two big moves away are really a lot of value. So I go to kill, and he punished me way more than I thought he would. So what I should be doing is getting my next week group out, and check out black on the left, horribly weak. So there's no reason I should, even in a teaching game, I shouldn't go this way. I should go this way because uh, it's a second weak group and black would be seeing it right away. Okay, but I go for the kill and he takes my eye and starts the chase. And we'll see something in a minute, okay. I thought I should try this way first. And that you can hear my second dog in the background. He doesn't like that uh, Jazzy's the one getting to go in the car. And he does, She doesn't get to go. So that direction didn't work out, so I go in the other direction. I need a certain amount of liberties, which won't be hard to get, but... I'm being chased on both sides. So now, let's look at the result. That's at least 11 running moves. And how many points did I get for those running moves? Zero. This is the problem when you have a weak group that runs so it doesn't get anything. Black, on the other hand, is getting a lot of value in the A area. He's uh, getting security in the B area. We see some hidden points around C. His D area is getting more secure. He's getting influence and in points around E. He's getting profit everywhere. And I'm just hanging out trying to get liberty so I can kill the corner. So you, hopefully you can really see you want to keep your groups healthy so you don't get in a position of getting chased. I mean, just one or two little moves is too much free profit. Black's getting nothing but free profit here to the point where it was worthwhile giving up the group in the corner. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. And I hope you're enjoying seeing my lessons the things I knew that I wasn't confident about, the things I didn't know, the things I thought I knew but were wrong, kind of gives you a sense of uh, sense of things. Okay, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.